Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can solve the Hanayama valve puzzle in hopefully the easiest to follow way. Let's get straight into it. Here we have a fully assembled valve puzzle. First thing we need to do before we disassemble it is get the right orientation for the gold piece or the outer gold shell. We're going to be focusing on the side that has the Hanayama engraving the whole time. We're going to orientate it in this position and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to follow. The next thing is where do we hold it in relation to the outside gold shell on this side. What we're going to do is we want to try and look down the outside of the gold shell and we're looking for this piece here that sticks out a little bit more. There is one piece that hangs a little bit lower which will be harder to see. We want the easiest to see groove in this top position here. And once you've got that, we're then going to orientate the first or the middle three pieces so that the Hanayama engraving is in the bottom left position. And once we're in this position, we're going to keep the two silver pieces in the same position and we're going to turn the middle gold piece anti-clockwise until that Hanayama piece drops down into this position in here. Once we've got this position, we're then going to push up on that middle gold piece and the Hanayama piece and we're going to turn the middle gold piece anti-clockwise until the Hanayama piece comes back up to its normal level and that inside gold piece has come up above all the other three pieces. Once we've got that position, we want to keep it up in that position as we rotate it all the way around to this position here. And when you're in the right position, that blank silver piece will drop down about two levels but it's not enough we want it to drop down another level and to do that we're going to keep both silver pieces in the same position while we turn the middle gold piece clockwise once you've turned it enough it'll drop down another level into this position in here now our next aim is to get this hanayama silver piece onto the same level as the blank silver piece and to do that we're going to turn it back to where we had it before with a Hanayama engraving on the bottom left and it'll instantly drop down but we want it to drop down another level so we're going to keep the two silver pieces in the same place while we turn anti-clockwise that inside gold piece until we're in this position in here and hopefully you can see that as, as well as you need to once we've got to this position we're then going to turn all three pieces anti-clockwise until the blank silver piece almost drops out the bottom so we can barely see it on the as we look at it from this view. Now you can, if you force it, get it out from this position. But to make it well, to do it properly and a little bit easier, we're going to turn all three pieces clockwise, and then we can take those three middle pieces out all in one go. And that is how we disassemble the valve puzzle. To reassemble the valve puzzle, the first thing we need to do is get the right orientation. And we're going to start with the middle gold piece, and you'll see that there's a groove on the bottom, there's a groove in the middle, and there's no groove at the top, or the top as we want it to be. So we're going to hold the bit that has the, the blank bit at the top, at the top. Here we've got two choices. We're again going to focus on the just the Hanayama side, so we want to be able to see the Hanayama engraving, and the Hanayama engraving can go level. Uh, with the inside gold piece in this position here. The blank silver piece obviously has the valve engraving on the bottom. We don't want to see that engraving and that just fits on the level below like this. Once you've got that position, just clamp down on those while we orientate ourselves with the outside gold piece, which if you look down in it straight, you can see there's a groove at the top, a groove at the top right and a groove at the bottom. That's the orientation that we want to be holding it. From here, we're then going to hook the Hanayama silver piece onto that bottom groove and then can't let go because it'll fall out the bottom. We're going to turn the whole thing anti-clockwise and then we can push the blank silver piece up into this position in here. Once we've got this position, we're then going to, well, we actually want the silver piece or the blank silver piece to be level with the Hanayama piece, which it isn't as of right now. So we're going to rotate the middle gold piece anti-clockwise until the blank silver piece clicks up and we can then rotate all three pieces into this position in here. From here we're going to push the Hanayama piece up and then we're going to rotate the inside gold piece clockwise until the Hanayama piece and the gold piece 
are now at their original level. And it's the blank silver piece that we now need to, to address. So keeping these two pieces up or holding them up from the bottom, we're then going to rotate all three pieces around to this position in here. This is what it should look like from an angle. And then from here, we're going to push up on the blank silver piece. And then we're going to rotate the inside gold piece anti-clockwise until both silver pieces are now in their original position. But what's out of position is that inside gold piece. So holding them all up in this position, we're going to rotate the whole thing back around to this original position. And here you'll notice that the Hanayama piece has actually dropped back down, which is a good thing. Without pushing up into this position, we're going to carefully just push the Hanayama piece up or slightly push it up. And we're going to rotate the inside gold piece clockwise until that Hanayama piece pushes back up. And if I let go, it might drop back down if we're in the right position. Uh, but to make sure it doesn't, for definite, just rotate all three pieces. And that is how you reassemble the valve puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the Haniyam valve puzzle. Hopefully you found this easy to follow along to. If you do have any issues or any questions, then comment below and I will do my very best to help you where you need it. If you want to see the solutions to any of these other Haniyama puzzles or watch me solving them for the first time, then be sure to click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace!